<laughs> Once upon a time, there was a boy named Tichu. His parents died early on in his life. He had to live with his grandmother. Tichu's grandma loved him so much that she took care of him tenderly and carefully. If she had delicious food, she always gave it to Tichu. At night, when he slept, she stayed up late to fan him and keep him cool. Eat up to grow fast, my dear. Every day, she had to work hard to earn money and raise Tichu. She did everything from transplanting rice seedlings to raising chickens and fish. Admiring the grandmother's great love for Tichu, a neighbor said, "Your love for Tichu is higher than the sky, wider than the sea. When he is grown up, he'll never forget your grace." However. Tichu didn't love his grandmother at all. He let her work hard on her own, while he played games all day long with his friends in the village. It's getting late. Let's stop playing. Tichu, you should go home and help your grandmother. Nah, keep playing. My grandmother will do everything. I have nothing else to do. Because she was working too hard and had a poor diet, Tichu's grandmother fell ill one day. Meanwhile, the boy was busy playing with his friends, leaving her alone at home. One afternoon, the weather was so hot, her fever was worse, and she felt thirsty. She called Tichu to bring her some water, but she didn't hear him answer. Tichu. I'm so thirsty. Please, bring me some water. Teach you, get me a glass of water. After a while, Teach you felt hungry, and went home to find something to eat. To his surprise, he saw his grandma turn into a dove. And fly into the sky. He was frightened and called to his grandma loudly. Granny, I'm hungry. Do you have anything to eat? I was too thirsty. I had to turn into a bird to get myself some water. Oh. Oh, Granny, what happened to you? Tichu ran after his grandmother, following the way the bird was flying. Eventually, Tichu saw the bird drinking water in a cool stream. He begged his grandmother to come back to him, but she said that she couldn't. Hearing the bird's words, Tichu burst into tears. Only then did he realize he could be with his grandma no longer. And felt bitterly regretful. Granny, please come back. I will take care of you. I promise to never make you upset again. <laughs> It's too late. I can't come back anymore. Touched by Tichu's cry, a fairy appeared and told the boy to take water from the fairy stream for his grandma to drink. Then she would turn back to a human and come back to him. Hearing what the fairy said, Tichu was very delighted. He asked for the direction to the fairy stream, and without hesitating, he started going. 
If you want your grandmother to come back, you will have to get water from the fairy stream. It will be a tough journey. Can you do it? Yes, I will get my granny back, no matter how hard it is. After the fairy gave Tichu a magic herb that could protect him from dangerous animals, the boy went right away. The way to get to the fairy stream was very long. Tichu had to spend many days and nights on the way to the fairy stream. The boy had to climb very high mountains when it was raining very heavily. He also had to go through deep forests where there were many venomous snakes. However, nothing could discourage him. I'm so hungry. It's so cold. I'm scared. No turning back. I have to save Granny. Tichu went on and on until one day he heard the sound of a murmuring stream. Threading a big bush, the boy saw a very beautiful landscape in front of his eyes. The fairy stream ran down the mountainside, and many colorful fish were swimming in the clear water. On the other side of the stream, there was green grass and butterflies. A playful kid like Tichu must have loved this place very much. At this very moment, however, the boy only thought of his grandmother. He quickly took the holy water from the stream. Finally, the fairy stream is here. Granny is about to be saved. Thanks to the water from the fairy stream, his grandma turned back to the shape of a human again. She smiled indulgently and hugged Tichu in her arms. After that, Tichu didn't play all day long anymore. Instead, he loved and took care of his grandmother with all of his heart. The playful Tichu learned a lesson that he would never forget. He needed to work hard and take better care of his grandmother. Such a touching story, isn't it? There is nothing as nice as living with your loved ones. Therefore, you should love, obey, and look after your grandparents and parents to be a good kid. Goodbye, and see you again soon. I miss you too, my dear grandchild. Grandma, I missed you so much. Please don't leave again. The children were like the two rose trees in front of the cottage.